Good afternoon, Jordan Trask here, and I know most of you guys know this, but doing business is just like any other type of relationship. You know, there's gonna be letdown, stuff's gonna happen, you know, whether it's a mistake, you got a bad employee, or maybe you just got a bad product, your customers are gonna be let down at some point. The key to this is owning up to this, and here's why, for this week's pre-focus. You know, with the pandemic and everything in full swing now, you see so many business owners and stuff really frustrated with lots of things, and rightfully so. But we can't get to the point where we're getting defensive or making excuses or discrediting our customers, right? If that person really had a bad experience, the last thing we want them to feel is unwanted or unappreciated, especially in a time where they might be experiencing some difficulties or frustrations themselves. You know, businesses ought to be looking to prove the experience or showcase the experience or improve the experience during times like these if they really want customers to sink their teeth in. Sadly, a lot of businesses, you know, wanna overpromise and underdeliver, especially when they're desperate, saying things like, we're the best, or this product is amazing or it's everybody's favorite and stuff could really set you up for failure if you're not really paying attention. Either way, the experience, my point is the experience is far greater, far more important than the pitch itself. We need to get back to this, you know, an app pre-focus, it's something I'm extremely committed to, something that I want to improve because we don't want to just focus on short-term gains or, you know, money grabs, right? We want to focus on long-term sustainability as a company. You know, if one of your customers is complaining online or in your face or knocking on the door, right? Own it, you know, figure it out, ask questions, you know, see what the real problem is, see if there's an opportunity for you to fix it. Then learn from it, share it, you know, be authentic with your messaging and your marketing and original with the experiences that you have. In other words, I'm telling you, you want to refrain if you want to sustain, especially during a crumbling period of time like we're living in. When you own your mistakes and apologize, it allows you to fail forward as a business. This might even encourage some of you to offer a reward, you know, for be people being critical of your business or, or asking for feedback. People love this stuff. Consumers love this stuff, I swear. They'll want to help you when you want to serve them. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember, to pre-focus.